when I first started wearing hair in the 80s, um, I started becoming very knowledgeable in where hair comes from and why the raw materials of hair are so important because without that, there's no way to have a beautiful style or look um, that matches your own. So let me kind of go through some of the basic things that I think you, the consumer, needs to know and what separates all of us from synthetic all the way to the really good stuff, which is what I deal with here at Lametric. Synthetic hair is synthetic hair. It's great for hair pieces. It's great for an occasional color change or a cut if you're not sure that you want to do that yet. It's for a lifestyle. Those of us who have to wear hair all of the time, I will tell you, especially those of us over 50, synthetic is just really, really hot. Really, really hot. So then it leads itself into human hair. Now, where does all this hair come from? Oh my gosh, India, Europe, China, South America are the primary places that the hair comes from. Now, how do you know where hair comes from and if it's appropriate for you? Basically, you don't. You have to rely on the expertise of your hair person and because we are direct importers and we process all the hair ourselves and we color match it and we blend it and we sew the wefts and we do everything in house, I have very, very, very few problems with the hair because I know once I see it and once I touch it and I start working with it that it is in fact the hair that I bought and that we cleaned and that we processed and that we colored and that we now have delivered to the consumer. So, because everyone's hair texture is a little different, you have those of us, myself included, has really curly hair. Then you have medium wavy hair and then you have straight hair. Very few people have bone straight hair, except for Asia. Now, again, Asia is a big place. It also borders Russia, and it borders some of the other countries, and all hair texture, depending on where the origin actually is, may even have some bend to it. But again, unless you're in that business, you wouldn't necessarily know. How do you know if you've got really good hair? I will tell you, and those of you who have been wearing hair, if it knots up and it tangles and you can't get a brush or a comb through it and it rides up, you know you don't have good hair. Um, and I mean you can't get anything through it. It's very different when you're working with wavy or curly hair because wavy or curly hair, by its nature, because it requires so much moisture, uh, has to be treated with respect because it is and it craves moisture. That's why a lot of people are very uncomfortable with working with curly hair because they really don't know how to work with it or how to deal with it. But 85% of the whole population in the United States, and I would probably say worldwide, has some sort of texture here, which means it's got some kind of S-curve to it. Maybe one, maybe two, maybe three, or really, really, really tight, kinky hair. And you don't have to be African American to have that kind of hair. A lot of people from the Middle East have it. A lot of cross-racial um, boys and girls have it, but at the end of the day, you got to know how to cut it, and you got to know how to wash it, and condition it, and treat it, because if you don't, you're going to have breakage, and it's going to look dry and frizzy, and which is why a lot of people have their hair permanently relaxed, either with a Japanese straightener, or with any other type of relaxer. I will tell you, when the issue of that came out a couple of years ago and they were talking about the formaldehyde, it made me really question whether or not that's a process that should be done long term and forever. Uh, I think a lot of it also has to do with is the hairstylist that you're going to trained on how to cut textured hair. So again, the blends of the hair, where do they come from? Because we're a direct importer, we know where all of that comes from because we do it ourselves. And worldwide, the supply has changed dramatically because more and more women are using hair. And there are very few of us that really are knowledgeable on how to mix all of this and how to have it, you know, um, remy or non-remy and how the hair goes in a different direction and whether the hair is processed. It is very involved, but incredibly fascinating and, inter and interesting for especially someone like myself. So. Look forward to teaching you more, and we would love any of your questions, and send them to us. Thank you.